All right, happy Monday, everyone. It is the week of the conference tournaments. I have March Madness. Do you have March Madness, Matt? March Madness nightmare. Yeah, it's going. There's. I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the bracket to come out next Sunday. I am. Let's let's just go. Let's do it. Stay sports smart. Along, then. Sports. As we were talking about before, let's go to some college basketball here. We already have. Three teams that are punched their ticket to their tournament this year. First team, Florida Gulf Coast University. They're 24 and 10. They won their conference tournament, and they aren't—they're not doing too bad this year. They beat Miami earlier this season in their second game, so that's impressive. Second team, Harvard. They're 19 and 9. They don't have a conference tournament, but they won their conference regular season title, which gives them a tourney bid. And they beat Cal earlier this year. That's probably their best win. And Belmont's the third team, and they're actually a pretty good team. They're 26-6, and six, and they beat Stanford and South Dakota State University. And the, out of the teams so far that I've gotten in, they're my favorite to make a little bit of a run. Mm -hmm. And the last one so far is Liberty, who is 15-20. and 20. They're the first 20-loss yeah. team since Coppin State to make it in the tournament. So not too keen on them making a run this year. We'll see what happens. They start off the season 1-10. So, I mean, they've done a lot better since then. They're 14 and 10 since that little skid. Maybe they'll put a, little, a you know, win or two together in the tournament. Do you, think they, do you think they deserve to be in the playoffs? I mean, yeah, they played well when they needed to. That's what you need to do. If Liberty wins their game, I'm going to freak. So, yeah, out of these teams so far, I like Belmont to make a little bit of a run. Belmont do. could be a sweet, sweet 16 team. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with the other teams they're going to in. Right now, Creighton and Wichita State are playing their tournament right now. Either way, though, both of them should make the tournament. That shouldn't be an issue for either of them. So congrats to everyone who's made it so far. And I'll let you know for Wednesday, who else has been added into the tournament after the conference tournaments? March Madness. So, Matt, let's go over the NHL. Let's uh, talk some playoff situations. What's going on? Right. We're, we're basically midway through the season, and I just want to say some teams that might make it into the playoffs that aren't really – up there. You are close, you know, they're not in the playoff picture right now, but they could eventually. Right. And uh, your first team? the first one I'm going to talk about is the Wild. Yep, Wild are a good team. Yep. Uh, they only have seven games against the top four teams the, the rest, rest of the season. Yeah. And five of those are at home, so that's a big advantage. Yeah, and they've been playing pretty well lately. I think they're 5-2-1 and one in their last eight games, so that's a little streak they got going there. Hopefully they can continue to play well and Maybe take somebody out of the playoffs here. Yeah. Who else you got? I got the Flyers. Um, they only have six games against the top four left. And I've seen Braden, Shen, and Jacob Voracek become their top guys lately. So, And they're you know they're constantly gaining momentum. I think they start, They had a rough start, but they're starting to pick it up yeah. more and more. And who's your last one you got as a team that can make the playoffs? Winnipeg Jets. They got seven games left against the top four, so they got a tough schedule. Um, eight games against the bottom four, so they're going to get a, a nice mix yeah. in there. So hopefully those eight games against the bottom four, they can you know maybe go 6-0-2 oh, or you know maybe even win all eight of them. Exactly. So hopefully they can you know, use that to boost themselves up to get into the playoffs. A. And the Blackhawks lost this weekend. Sad day. No. All right, Ben, let's talk NBA, professional basketball. All right, I'm going to do a one-game preview here. On Monday, we have the Thunder at the Spurs. This is going to be a great game. Two top teams in the Western Conference. and The Thunder have won five straight now. They have won five straight. They just beat the Celtics. Which is why I think I like the Thunder to take this one. They've been playing really well lately, and they're also younger, so they're a little more fresh. I think that the Thunder will win 99-95. I agree with that. Thunder's going to take it, and just the fact that Kevin Durant is on fire right now. The Durantula, I love him. Mm -hmm. He's great. And my last thing I want to talk about in the NBA is uh, the Lakers. They've been making a little bit of a run lately. They're now officially tied for the eighth spot, and they're tied with the Jazz. The Jazz do have the tiebreaker over them, but, you know, they have the same amount of wins and losses. Which is incredible, because yeah. it looks it looked like they did that on purpose or something like that. Yeah, it looks like they just weren't trying, you know, in the beginning just to make everybody think that they weren't going to make it, and now they're going to pull off the... You know, crazy upset. Kobe. Do I think the Lakers can make the playoffs this season? Yes. They have a very easy strength of schedule going through the rest of the season. It's easier than Houston or Utah. And Houston's just like a game and a, uh, maybe a half a game ahead of them. So I think that Lakers will move into the playoffs. Utah's going to fall out. And I personally would like to see that because they've been playing really well lately. They deserve to make a chance at the playoffs, you know, and see if they can maybe 
knock off the top team in Western Conference first round of the playoffs. Matt, you got a applesauce cup right there? Yeah, Mott since 1842. I call those app cups. Why? Because, well, do you know what rhymes with app cup? Wrap up. 30 second wrap up, let's go. Check out this crazy buzzer beater for Batavia High School. What? Way to stick to it. Tiger is in the lead come Sunday. He's wearing red today. He's going to win. Let's just be real. Patrick Sharp from Chicago will be out three to four weeks with an upper body injury. Reggie Bush is reportedly not going to be in Miami for the 2013 season as the Dolphins have not shown any interest in retaining him. Man, lost it. Relifer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching our episode today. Have a happy Monday. Everything we talked about is in the description below. There are links. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And watch our show on Wednesday. Have a great Monday. We're going to go play some sports right now, and you should too. So see you Get later. Get active. What do sports and hats have in common? I don't know, but I don't think they have in common. They're involved with your head. Because you gotta, you got to be smart to play sports and put hats on your head. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs>